Hi everyone, Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to carry on looking at some of the Creative Expressions uh, products that I receive. So we're going to create a card using this Paper Cuts Craft die uh, and this is the Badger and the Butterflies. So I thought maybe we would try using some Miri. So this is uh, one of the products that I got from the Hunky Dory bundle. Uh, so I will show you that when we sort of get on to their cards but I thought this would look nice for today's video. I might also add some white cardstock into this as well. And then I've got two uh, kind of uh, turquoise teal colours. So we've got teal blue and ocean blue here. I thought these two would work really nicely with that silver. And again, then maybe adding in just a little bit of white. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is try to create a shaped card base. So I've got uh, just a card that I already had in my stash. So I don't use these scalloped edged cards. I tend to just cut these down to the sizes that I actually want. But what I'm going to do is actually attempt to use our outer die. Um, and this is going to create a uh, shaped card for us. So I just need to work out exactly which side my fold needs to be on. All I'm going to do is I'm going to hang over this die over the edge of that fold line. So I'm not too worried that I'm going to be sort of cutting part of this off because we will um, just sort that out. So I've run this through the die cutting machine. So let's just take off our washi tape nice and carefully. Pop that to the side because we can reuse that for our other bits of die cutting. And now you can see we've just wiggled out our card base. So we do have, like I said, some bits missing from this side, but that's okay. We're going to sort that out. But if we open it up so you can see where we've got those joins. So as long as you've got the joins in enough places, it's going to hold together. That's just one thing you want to be careful with when you're positioning your die over your folded section. So what I've done next is I've die cut this outer piece again just from some plain white cardstock and this is then going to solve our problem of what we've got missing here. So this is going to sit just directly on top of our card base and it's just going to finish that off. So what I'm actually going to do is just glue this piece down now um, because I just want this to be kind of on here so I don't get any of my pieces confused. So I'm going to use a little bit of this liquid glue by Lawn Fawn. Then we can add our die cut piece directly on top of this and just get it lined up. So there we have our full front card base now. So this is just another way of creating a shaped card if you want it to match in with what you're uh, die cutting or your design. So I'm going to leave that to one side uh, just so that can adhere nicely. So now we can start die cutting our layers and bringing this card together. So I've actually already die cut another piece of white cardstock using that outer die. And this is going to be my top layer. So I'm going to use it with this die here. Um, and then all we need to do is just line that up. But because I've got a larger die cutting machine, it means I can die cut more uh, things at once. So I actually want to die cut the next layer as well. So I need this die to line up my next die. So I'm going to attach that uh, with some washi tape. Uh, after I have lined up this piece. I'm going to be cutting our butterfly layer from this teal colour and like I said I really need uh, this die first to be able to line this up. So I'm going to add all three of my uh, dies onto here so let's just make sure we get this the right way round. So I want to die cut our outer piece so let's just hold that one down with a little bit of tape and then I want to make sure that I line up then my inner die as well. So let's just grab another little bit of washi tape then I can take my centre die out and that is going to be then perfectly positioned ready to be die cut. So if I just carefully move that to the side I'm going to bring back this piece and then I can line up this die. So it's all about just kind of working out how much you can fit through your die cutter machine at once and kind of really utilizing those passes. So I'm just gonna line this piece up just like so. And then I'm gonna run both of these through my die cutter machine. Okay, so I've slid both of these off my plate so you can see that this piece has already come away. So I know that it's die cut fantastically already. So let's lift up our blue panel let's take off our uh, outer die and then we can take out this inner piece as well 
So I'm gonna keep those kind of bigger pieces. Um, I know this butterfly, this wing is gonna kind of uh, prop up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and poke out all of these sort of additional pieces. So there is our blue layer. Now we can just, now we can pull up this layer here. So again, all of these pieces have just fallen out of here because it just die cuts like an absolute dream. Okay, so let's bring back our card base and we can have a look at these uh, two layers together. So now we've got these two pieces here. Let me just show you how this is gonna come, kind of come together. So this is uh, gonna be, so of course we've still got a layer to go underneath this, which is gonna have the badger, um, which we can die cut in a second. But I'm just gonna show you. So this is gonna just line up really beautifully uh, with our base. And then this. Okay, so for our next piece, we want to cut out this badger section. So I'm just gonna pop down uh, our outer frame again. Again, I'm gonna use this piece here just as a kind of a guide. So you can see that I've added some washi tape just to hold down that outer piece. I'm gonna pop back in our butterfly uh, layer just there and then I'm gonna add in my uh, badger die and this is just by doing it this way is just really helping us line all of this up so I'm gonna just hold again our badger die in place let's take out our butterfly so then I'm gonna run this through my die cutting machine okay so here is this piece Okay, so here we have our badger piece, so now we can just remove these pieces here. So there's our badger piece. Okay, so now we have our four layers all die cut. Let's pop this together and sort of see how this looks. So I'm gonna start off uh, with my uh, badger. So we've got kind of our turquoisey layer. Then we're gonna add our butterfly. And then lastly, we're gonna add our white layer. So I really love how that looks. I think that's super elegant. Um, like I said, I really love kind of having the white top and bottom. Um, I think it looks a lot nicer. It kind of frames it nicely and it adds something to that color. It sort of helps pop, I feel. So I did die cut some of the silver mirror card. Um, as I said at the beginning that I was thinking about using it, but if we just kind of layer this all on top of each other I kind of felt like that silver was maybe um, taking something away from it I don't think it kind of um, looked as good as what it did just with that sort of a solid uh, white background so I'm not going to use that piece because um, yeah I just really love how uh, that background looks so let's get this together so you could add some uh, dimension if you wanted to this um, but I'm quite happy just having it because it's so thick just having it as like a single layer layer. So I'm going to bring in more of my uh, lawn fawn glue. I'm just going to go all the way around the outside. And then we're just going to add a touch just to the inside. And it's so easy to line these up because obviously the outer piece is exactly the same. Okay, so I wanna add a sentiment to this. So I'm gonna take, these are the Spellbinders Nest Abilities, and this is labels 25. So I've just taken this sort of middle uh, size, and I think we're just gonna kind of maybe pop it to one side. Obviously it's not as big as this die, um, but yeah, I think we definitely wanna add a sentiment onto here. So I wanna stick in with kind of that blue theme. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this uh, Arctic blue cardstock here. I'm just gonna run this through my die cutter machine, and then I'm gonna stamp on it afterwards. Okay, so because I've got it just sat here, we've got this happy birthday, which I wanna see if this is gonna fit. And I think it might just 
fit on this piece. So let's just grab an acrylic block. Let's take some Versafine and give this a stamp. Um, and I think that would go really nicely just uh, sort of a sat there. So what I am going to do just for something a little added extra is I'm just going to add a little bit of colour around the edge uh, of this. So I'm going to take, this is the Salty Ocean and just over a scrap piece just add a little bit of colour. Okay let's bring our card back and I think that just sort of helps fit in a little nicer. So I'm going to add some Nubo drops just to finish this off. We have got Duck Egg Blue um, and I don't have a silver, I was planning on doing silver but we use the Ivory Seashell instead um, and we're just going to add some of these just around the card just to kind of uh, finish it off. So there's our finished card for today. This was using the Creative Expressions Paper Cut Collection Badger and the Butterfly. And I think this has come out so beautifully. So we've created a shaped card here. Um, so if we just carefully open this up, you can see that the actual card base is the same shape. We've got all of those beautiful layers which you can see uh, when you sort of look at the side of the card. You could turn this into like a shadow box, something like that. You could use some foam pads to really give it some dimension, but it's equally just just as lovely kind of just straight and then we just added a little sentiment on there as well so if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please do so so you don't miss out on any future videos so that's it for today thanks very much for watching and happy crafting